do you have a problem that seems insurmountable? Uh, something that seems outrageous and outlandish and unsolvable. Well, have you considered uh, checking into what has already been disclosed to mankind through ancient writings? Men and women who have written down under the inspiration of God, His Spirit, have written down certain instructions and have written down for humanity uh, God's feelings on various subjects. The solution might already be there in what's already been revealed through revelation and through history, historical experiences. Uh, so your problem may not be uh, unique or uh, too difficult if you look at the problem from an eternal vantage point, from an eternal perspective, the problem then might be greatly diminished as far as uh, Gravity may not be that uh, may not be that big of an issue. It may not be that bad. Um, you know, uh, God's given us God's given mankind uh, tools on how to deal with things, and there's so many people all over the world throughout thousands of years have had difficulties, not probably different than any difficulties that people experience today. Uh, he's got wise counsel. Uh, he's, he's supposed to, he's, God is called a, a, a wise counselor. And he, he helps man. He actually is into helping uh, humanity succeed and grow, and he's and he, and he and he he gives just like a computer programmer. He gives good instructions for the for the program, and if implemented and followed, uh, it greatly reduces problems and greatly enhances other features. It enhances uh, value to life. It enhances uh, people, a person's sense of worth. Because uh, when you understand that you, there's a creator and that he created mankind who produced other uh, people as part of a computer program, uh, 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 creation program, re reproduction. Uh, he's give, he's 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 uh, given man what he needs for uh, divine uh, divine living and what these sources of inspirations were, what the ancients wrote down for. Which I believe still have relevancy for today. They're still valid. Though some of the ceremonials, and ceremonial practices and rituals are, may no longer have uh, application. The principles there still to perhaps be uh, at least considered as uh, when it comes to knowing what the ancients, their difficulties, what they had to deal with, you know, there were some things that uh, were different than what we experience today because of modern technology. You know, we have the comforts of air conditioners and refrigeration and houses that don't blow over from high winds in the deserts, uh, 
we have lots access to lots of water that's manufactured or brought from uh, or, or, or refined through uh, wells and reservoirs uh, we don't have to travel you know through the heat very hot deserts to a well to drop water to, to, so that our families can be hydrated we don't have to go on uh, rigorous hunts to hunt for food but we don't have to uh, although some people all people are paid to do that for us but not everyone has to do it not everyone has to go out there and gather his own fruit and vegetables and just go to the marketplace and purchase these things and it's done on a much more efficient level with the help with the aid of machinery but uh, yeah so our problems are different in certain respects but uh, but you still have family issues you still have uh, how to approach uh, how to live amongst your fellow men and how to ha have a positive attitude you know, amidst the stresses and uh, how to uh, how to love and, and share God and, and to love your and love other people. So that's that's uh, still has application uh, things on an emotional level, on an intellectual level, on a spiritual level. Those things are uh, still applicable. Uh, maybe maybe the methods are a little different. But uh, the principles there, if you, if, you, if you read it thoroughly and research it. So yeah, God, uh, God, believing in God and trusting in God makes all the difference in dealing with problems.